One hour, 44 minutes into today's spacewalk. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and get the vent tool, uh, release, vent release tool, key release tool back out. I think that's a good call. Sorry we didn't get to you before you got it stowed. The fourth and final fluid connector, the M3 connector that leaked on Saturday, halting uh, the spacewalker's ability. Halting the spacewalker's ability to uh, remove the failed pump module from the S1 truss. Uh, that uh, quick disconnect uh, has closed, and we are seeing a, a solid uh, M3 connector. And we're standing by for further words on whether or not uh, we can press ahead uh, with the demating of that connector without first venting the pump module itself. That will save residual ammonia that uh, is trapped upstream from the connector. And Oscar, as you're discussing there, also just qualitatively, uh, the barrel was really smooth, uh, very uniform. I didn't notice any kind of galling or, uh, or unusual um, rubbing on the uh, QD. It was a uh, smooth, uniform throw to the uh, 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 close position. We copy wheels. And we did notice how easily it went to the uh, closed position. Roger. Can yeah. wheels FYI while the discussion's going on, I put the brakes on. Okay. And Shannon, just a heads up, if we go back to M3, I'll need about um, 20 centimeters port and about 30 minutes. Wheels, we have a go to D mate M three. So let me know when you're in position. I have your words for you. Okay, copy. I'll need the arm just for a couple of minutes. Copy. Okay, you Shannon, have the call. Uh, 20 centimeters. Okay, 20 centimeters port, uh, 30 zenith. Okay, copy. 20 port, 30 zenith, and I'm entering mode now. All right, I'm ready, and I'm going to start with the port left on the handkerchief. Starting motion. Good motion. Happy good motion. More good news. Uh, no manual vent of the pump module now required. Uh, since uh, the lines uh, have evacuated uh, to a safe configuration and uh, the green light has been given for Doug Wheelock to demate the M3 connector, the final fluid connector, from the failed pump module. Good motion. Good motion. Okay, stop motion there. Motion stopped. Okay, that's good. All right, I'll break. Thank you, Oscar. Copy, Shannon. So, Wills, are you ready to uh, demate this bad boy? I think so. You may want to piss up a little bit with me. Good call, Tracy. Yeah, you're free of the guide, but not free of the truck yet. Good. Clear the truck, but not clear me. Motion.
To recap, uh, while this uh, decontamination uh, process uh, begins uh, for Caldwell Dyson and Wheelock, this modified procedure, uh, just to ensure that uh, no residual ammonia exists on their suits. Just to recap, the spacewalk began at 7.27 a.m. Central Time. Caldwell Dyson and Wheelock uh, moved out uh, to the S-1 truss of the International Space Station with um, pressure within the ammonia lines having been greatly reduced uh, through ground control procedures over the past 48 hours. Uh, Doug Wheelock uh, received a go to demate uh, the M3 connector. The uh, M3 connector was uh, demated after uh, its valve was closed and uh, it did not leak as was the case back on Saturday. So the crew uh, avoided uh, some time consuming uh, work out on the interface of the S0-S1 truss that uh, one was originally scheduled for the timeline today to close other quick disconnects upstream and uh, isolate ammonia uh, upstream from the M3 connector that was not required today in the long run. And the M3 uh, connector that uh, provided a problem back on Saturday was a little problem today, a bit stubborn uh, to demate, but uh, Wheelock used uh, a bit of muscle to eventually get it uh, demated. All of the other work associated with the uh, failed pump module went very smoothly as five electrical and data connections were demated. Four bolts uh, were uh, removed and uh, the pump module uh, was uh, equipped uh, with an adjustable grapple bar and Doug Wheelock uh, removed and extracted the failed pump module from its slot in the S1 truss, moving it over to a uh, parking bracket, a uh, payload stowage bracket on the mobile base system nearby. Hey, nice job. 